Well, hello there everyone, and welcome back to yet another computer video. And we're going to be talking a little bit about Windows 10 again in this video. If you're not aware, Microsoft has recently released uh, version 10.586 of the Microsoft Windows 10 operating system. And it is available for download through the media creation uh, tool just like it was before. Although apparently Microsoft has chosen to um, hide that link. I will provide the link at the video description uh, down below there if anyone wants to download this particular version. Uh, they're supposedly only going to be pushing this version out through the Windows updates to the Windows 7 and 8 PCs that people are choosing to upgrade and I'm hoping that that will actually be a big improvement because I can't begin to tell you how much of a problem Windows 10 upgrades have been uh, that I've noticed anyway. Quite a few of them have come into the shop and have had to have their uh, Windows restall or res, 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 what do you want to call it? Um, reverted. That's the word I'm looking for. Reverted back to Windows 7 or Windows 8 um, because they just don't work right anymore. And, uh, in fact, one of them was, and I still got it, as a matter of fact, in the shop right now, at the time I'm making this video, uh, rolling it back to Windows 7 has removed the keyboard and the mouse functionality, which is a real big pain in the butt, and no USB keyboard or mouse um, works on it either, so a lot of fun with that. So hopefully maybe Windows or Microsoft has figured out that they've got a bit of a problem with the earlier release of Windows 10. So what you're looking at here is a Dell Inspiron 15 3000 series. This is actually a touchscreen computer. I've had this for a few months now and I've just decided to go ahead and fix it. I've actually been sitting in the shop for a few months. I decided to fix it up and uh, give it as a Christmas present. This computer um, blew its hard drive up and the person decided they didn't want to fix it. And you know, this is a $300 laptop so it's really not worth a whole lot of money, but it's a decent laptop. It does what it needs to do anyway. So this was a Windows 8 laptop and it's never had Windows 10 upgraded. Never never once because this has been sitting for that long that it never had the Windows 10 upgrade done to it. But the interesting thing about 10.586 is that it automatically decides if you're eligible for the Windows 10 upgrade or not. And I did this with a fresh install off the thumb drive. I updated this to 10.586. And I just installed it on this laptop as a test. And it's interesting that it says the product key there. You can see Windows 10 on this device is activated with a digital entitlement. So it obviously recognized that this is a Windows 8 computer and just went ahead and did its thing there. And it was not connected to the internet at the time either. It is connected to the wireless now, but it wasn't when I installed everything. It never asked for a product key. It just went on and did its thing here. So this is supposed to be a better version of Windows 10. I don't know. We'll find out. I really wasn't pleased with the previous version. So, yeah. I haven't tried this on a Windows 7 laptop, but uh, at least for Windows 8 laptops anyway, apparently, you can do a fresh install even if you've never installed Windows 10 or upgraded Windows 10 on that computer before so that's pretty cool anyway that'll wrap this video up thank you for watching and uh, I guess if you have a pleasant comment to leave down below uh, go ahead and do that alright thank you very much and have a pleasant day or evening or noon or whatever time it is peace out everyone